Hey, my name is Mayhem here, and today we're doing a quick unboxing of the Lilligo T Dongle S3. It's an ESP32 S3 with a TF card function, a 0.96 ISP LCD display. Comes with this lovely little box with plenty of padding in there. Let's go straight into it and have a look. Here we go. This is the actual box of the device. We take out this piece of foam, and there she blows. So if we just take her out and get this box out of the way. This is what our device looks like. So here you can see the display. You can see the ESP32 board back here. We do have one expansion port here and we have a boot button that we can push onto here. So if I can just see where the tape is, there is some clear tape on here by the looks of things. We can take this tape off. And that is going to allow us access to the actual USB part of this stick. There you go. And then inside here, we do have a placeholder for the TF slash SD card. So this is very short and sweet. Uh, this device, I'm gonna be using a pre-built tool that someone has made on GitHub that looks absolutely phenomenal. Really can't wait to share that with you to let you know exactly what this stick can do. So what I will do quickly is I'm just gonna see what happens when we plug this into a power bank. So this is the only one that I have available to me at the moment, but it will do the job hopefully. There we go, the device is booted up with the Lilligo flash and it's saying it failed to mount the card, but of course it will do because the card we have on there is moot. It is a pretend fake card. I'm just gonna push the button and see what it's gonna do. It has told us what the actual regulations are and what tests it's had put on it for its Wi-Fi and whatnot. Spin it on this way. And it's got the really, really bright multicolored an RG, a multi RGB LED there. Uh, let's see what happens if we push this button. So we push the button, it tells us that it is an ESP32 S3. It says, hello, t S3 and just flicks back and forth to that. So not much on there on the test firmware, but as you can see, it's a really good looking screen and it's got a really, really nice bright LED on there. So like I say, we're gonna have some really good fun with this, see what tools we can put onto it to turn it into a wonderful portable little device for us to play around with. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that and I will catch you next time. Cheers.